in the merry month of May when flowers were a-bloomin'. Sweet Willie on his deathbed lay for the love of Barbara Allen. He sent his servant to the town, the town where she As a young man at the age of nine, I left England with my family and came over here on a ship. We arrived in the port of Kingston. We found lodgings and as a young man of 12, I was put to work as a laborer, helping a stonemason, helping any, la any tradesperson that acquired my services and I was paid accordingly. Right now, I am a master laborer. I employ the people that work the streets, uh, laid up stone, anything. My salary is about 60 pence a day. Right now, as a master laborer, I am about five pound a day employing people. And out of that, I have to pay my own apprentice. As a master laborer, I am not of property. I don't own a house. So I am not allowed to vote at any election. I have very little rights, but I am allowed to go anywhere, talk to anybody, except for the upper class. I can talk to an architect, anybody of a lawyer or anybody that needs my services that will employ me and I work for them. I was born here in Canada, in Kingston. How I met my husband, he was doing odd jobs and that for my father. And my father was a very well-off tradesperson. He made his money by building. He was an architect. And that's how I met my husband, was he was working for my father. Uh, my typical day would be I'd go calling in the morning, and then in the afternoon I'd have tea with uh, my other acquaintances, other ladies that I know, while my husband was off doing his work and that. I'd mainly be sort of home or calling in the morning, which would be out walking, or if it was really bad weather, I'd be riding in a carriage. Well, the main staple would be potatoes because we could grow them here not like in Ireland where they had the famine going on. Uh, we'd have meat like mutton which would be lamb, beef and pork. I myself wouldn't prepare it because of my family being a little bit more well off. We'd have a servant so I'd have a cook to cook for us. I wouldn't actually prepare the meal myself. The cook would do it.